After removing the parts for your Studio Canvas Master from the shipping crate, bolt the two upright legs to the crossbar using the bolts provided. With four people, lift the machine and place the mounting arms in the guide rails on the upright legs. Remember to remove the long plastic ties from the gripper arms. The machine comes with compressor fittings attached. Depending on your individual compressor and how it is currently configured, you may need to replace these fittings. Begin by removing the compressor fittings. Apply Teflon tape to the end of the fitting. This will help seal it. If necessary, replace the existing hose fitting with the appropriate quarter-inch pipe thread fittings. Next, take the air line for the staple gun and apply Teflon tape. Attach the staple gun to the line. Finally, make sure that the top and bottom of both the right and left arms are moving at the same rate. After lowering the bottom controller, you can see that the top of the right arm isn't moving at the same rate as the bottom. To fix this, the amount of airflow must be adjusted. Turn the air adjustment screw on the cylinder to allow more or less air to flow. Turning it counterclockwise will allow more air and increase speed. Turning it clockwise will allow less air and decrease speed. Here, you can see that the top and bottom of the arm are now traveling at the same speed. On the left side, a smaller adjustment needs to be made. Now, you can see both arms working perfectly, ready to stretch canvas. If you have any questions about the Canvas Stretch Master, please contact your LexJet Canvas Specialist at 800-453-9538.